To balance this equation, we have iron 2 hydroxide, the OH, that's the hydroxide, plus H2O2, which is hydrogen peroxide. So let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation and then balance it. We have one iron atom, and then this 2, it applies to everything in the parentheses. So we have 2 times the 1, 2 oxygen atoms, and 2 times the 1 hydrogen, 2 hydrogen atoms. But we also have to count these up here too. So we have 2 hydrogens, so we have a total of 4 hydrogens, and then we have the 2 oxygens. So we have a total of four oxygen atoms. On the product side, we have one iron, three times the one, three oxygens, three times the one, three hydrogens. Probably the best thing for us to do right here is to get these to be an even number. That'll make it a lot easier when we try to balance the oxygens and hydrogens on this side of the equation. So to do that, we'll put a two as our coefficient in front of the FeOH3, the iron three hydroxide. We have one times two, that's for the iron, and then we have three times the one times the two. So that gives us six oxygens. Hydrogens, three times one, that's three of them, times the two, that gives us six. So now we have to double our irons, and then we need two more oxygens and two more hydrogens. And it works out if we put a coefficient of two in front of the FeOH2, one times two, so the irons are balanced, and then we need to recalculate our oxygens and hydrogens. So let's do the oxygens. We have two times one, that's two, times two, that gives us four, plus we have these two here, so the oxygens are balanced. Hydrogens, two times the one, that's two, times two, that gives us four, plus we have two here, that gives us six. This equation is balanced. So the key to balancing this equation is if you have odd numbers, get those to be even, and that'll usually help balance the equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for FeOH2 plus H2O2. Thanks for watching.